sighting in your rifle. It's important, and there are more than one way to do it. Here with Doug Pritchard, we're at FDW Ranch. Doug, you guys sight in hundreds or thousands of rifles each year, huh? We do, yes, sir. So we thought, let's ask the expert and at least get your way of doing it. Well, you know, we have we have several ways. There are several ways to do it, yeah. basically. Uh, you, if you've got a bolt system, people pull out bolts. They look down the barrel and they line up the sights. Do uh, some bore siding, sure. Right, do some bore siding. Uh, there's several ways to do it. We're very fortunate here. We've we got this big, huge uh, uh, range down here that yep. uh, we're not worried about so much where them bullets are flying. So we got uh, we normally mount the, the scopes. Uh, we check all the torques. That's something we do every time. Okay. Every class that shows up here, uh, before we ever go to the range, we clean them. Okay. Pick them up, cl uh, clean out the chambers, clean out the boards. We just start with out, start out with a clean system. Okay. Uh, and then we do that because we found that over the years, anytime we bypass that systems, we've always had troubles down here. First, start off with a few dry fires. I would. Okay. Highly, re highly recommend it. All right. Yeah. Try to get you know, used to the rifle and yeah, the breathing, uh, the focus, trigger control. Uh, and the why, uh, I just compare it, I use the, the golfer analogy. I've never seen a professional golfer walk up and just hit a golf ball. He'll knock out a couple uh, practice swings, making sure everything's good and solid. When a crosshair breaks, it literally does not move the reticle. All right, now, uh, you know, this is not sighted in, mm -hmm. so we're not sure where it's going to hit. Right. Um, where do you like to start off? We're going to go ahead. I'm just going to go right out there at 100. I, I believe we're going to have an impact out there. All so right. what I do, on my, I just open up my magnification. Uh, again, we got pr plenty of property to see an impact, and we'll try to get an impact around that disc. Let's take the, uh, let's see the top right disc down there okay. on that berm. Yep, went over the top. Okay. Well, the good news is you get the dial down. <laughs> All right, mills, we're talking mills or minutes. This is a mill scope. Mill scope. All right. So I'm going to have you come down uh, one, two, three, four, about four mills down. All right, four mills. Mills. That's about 10 clicks a mill. And you just hit it. Wow. Okay, good. All right. Yeah, the scale worked. So, yeah, uh, I saw your first impact. Use the scale. You dial down. We got impact. That's going to get us somewhere close to the, uh, on paper anyway. All right, so, Doug, we shot two shots, mm -hmm. but maybe shoot a third one just to kind of figure out where our group is. Yeah, I, I, and I, you know, I, I always ask people when they, sh when they shoot a couple rounds like that, I said, which one, which one felt better? Okay. Right, because that kind of gives me an idea of the first or second shot, because they're a little spread in the two. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I go, okay, well, they think that first shot was better. I'm going to say, I, I imagine that next shot's going to be somewhere near where it felt good, because, you know, okay. you know a good shot and a bad shot. Yeah, and, and this is a gun that's kind of a, a Frankenstein gun, but you were talking about trigger control. Mm -hmm. I put a just a single-stage three-pound Timney in this mm -hmm. gun, and it really, I find that it helps me be more accurate when I've got a good trigger versus, honestly, some of the, the mil spec triggers and ARs aren't oh, yeah. that great. Oh yeah, they, yeah, they're they're a very high uh, uh, weight on those triggers. Yeah. Okay, you were right. Yeah, that first shot you took was your better shot. All right. Because that bullet is up now a half an inch from the other one. See, the other all one right. got away from you. You didn't like it. It didn't feel good. And that happens yeah. all the time. Point three six. 0.9, 1.2 mil up, 1.2, 1.3 mil up. 1.2 1, mil Let's go 1.3 up. 1.3 up, all right. Mm -hmm. So one, and then 0.3. That's right. And I would right. give it a little left. Uh, let's go left, point to left. Mm -hmm. Point to left. Oh, and that's a big one there. You wouldn't believe the number of times people uh, turn that the wrong way. Well, and I always, every scope is different. Yeah. So when I'm turning dials, I look every single time yeah. just to remind myself, okay, up, am I going up or am I going down? That's right. And I think that confuses people on the 100%. scope sometimes. Oh, 100%. When they, yeah. when they look at up and down, they go, what am I moving up and down? That's correct. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you're moving the internals of the scope. You know, yeah. it's got, uh, 
either coil systems or spring systems or camming systems in there, and you're basically moving that inner erector scale in there. Yeah. yeah. Do I want the reticle to come up or down? That's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's take another shot here and uh, see if it. Now, now that we, I think we're going to be in there pretty tight. Uh -huh. So let's go to a smaller diamond, whichever one you're comfortable on. Okay. That looked good. Okay, broke a little high right. Do another one. Yes, sir. Take your time. Use the trigger back slow, slow as you can. Okay, good. Okay, good. It stayed left. Okay, actually it, it, it stayed almost matched the other one. That's pretty, right. actually matched it perfectly. Interesting. Uh, I would come up point two, go right point two, up point two, right up. two point, yep. Up point two, right point two. Okay. Yep. Okay. And I'm gonna do a little old school. <laughs> yeah. Okay, same diamond? Yep. Okay. There we go, that's better. Okay. Yep, you wanna shoot one more? One more? Yep, one more. Okay. Okay, good. Yep. Now what we have, uh, first shot, slightly left to center, elevation's mm -hmm. good. Second shot was right of center, elevation was good. Third shot almost, oh, a little bit closer to third shot, closer to the center there. So your vertical looks real good. There might be a little trimming of the windage. Um, and it's probably also, uh, I mean, I would imagine, uh, Doug, that, I mean, it kind of depends on the rifle of what the expectation would be. That's I mean, correct. If, yeah. You know, I don't know what this rifle with this ammo should be shooting as far as a group size or yep. whatever. Yep. You know, we do that a lot. We uh, uh, we do a lot of ammo testing because yeah, a lot of folks uh, we're not reloading, mm -hmm. so we're doing factory ammo, and it's amazing uh, what you'll see between one ammo to another. So a good trigger is super important for sighting in and obviously being accurate all the time with your rifle. Hope these side in tips help you out.